everyone, how's it going? This is Jay Blazin, aka Verse, coming at you with a video on Elder Scrolls Online. This is a provisioning, fishing, and a perfect row farming guide, along with you know, experience and money making method as well. Um, you don't need to be a high level to do this, as you can see, I'm only level 24. And where you want to go, where you see location, Alakir Desert is where you want to be. So once you load in, I'll show you where to go. Give me a moment. <laughs> Slow internet. Okay. So, where you want to be at is in Sentinel. Sentinel is in Alakir Desert. So you're gonna travel to this way shrine. If you don't have this way shrine unlocked, look for someone in a guild or maybe a, your group of friends that is here. And all you have to do is travel to them and it will put you at this waypoint. So that's the start of your experience, I guess. Um, so to begin the video, what you're gonna need to do is collect bait. Now how do you get bait without spending thousands of gold on obtaining the bait? This method is pretty simple. You could do it solo or with a friend. I suggest with a friend it makes it go a lot faster and you get a 10% bonus XP boost if you're in a group. So this is going to be a quick video, I'm not going to show you everything. But this is the area you want to get to. You'll see the docks and you'll see the ship. I'll show you on the map one time real quick. You want to be right about there. So what you're going to do is you're going to aggro all these zombies. There's going to be a bunch of them. There's people probably already here doing it. As you can see all the bodies on the ground. And they drop worms, guts, and crawlers. So once you kill a bunch of them and you collect bunch of worms crawlers and guts what you're gonna do next see all these bodies easy loot and you get a lot of experience from doing this as well guaranteed to level you up you don't need to be a high level but by the end of this you will be a pretty decent level you'll have a lot of skill points to spend and so what you're gonna do once you get all your worms that you want worms are going for about 10,000 gold right now maybe 8,000 gold on a uh, guild trader for a stack of 200. Pull up my horse. So once you get your worms, I'm going to show you all the fishing spots and where to find a safe spot essentially. See this is the person that's doing it. This is what you want to be doing. You want to get your AOE abilities out and you want to slaughter these zombies. Like I said, it's easier with a friend. Now the bait you want to use is worms, because these are ocean fish, these aren't, like say if you were in Deshaun, those are like swamp fish and such. So where I start off my fishing, is I come over here, jump this, not to aggro anything, and there's usually a fishing spot right around here. I already fished it today, so it won't respawn for a little while. So from here... The next fishing spot I go to, I jump down here, swim around, there's usually a fishing spot right around here too, where you can catch fish. And you just need common fish, you don't need anything special, and also right here is another fishing spot. And the safe spot would be to climb up on this boat, like this, and there's a zombie that spawns right there. And right where I'm looking is right about where the fishing hole will be. So after you're done fishing that spot, you're gonna jump onto this dock, sorry. You're gonna jump onto this dock, and you're gonna travel north. Over here, you might have to kill these two zombies that spawn right there, you might not have to. And then there's another fishing hole that will spawn right here. And if you stand right here, you won't aggro any zombies. But if you do, hey, it's a little extra bait, maybe a little extra gold. 
you can get around 200 worms an hour if you have a friend helping you with hoarding zombies and killing them. So there's another fishing hole that's going to spawn right here. So from there you're going to travel down over to here. Right where I'm looking is another fishing hole when it spawns. The safe spot though, because if you fish from that dock, you're going to aggro. There's two zombies over there that you're going to aggro. So you can get here from the water too, and you're going to jump up here. And that fishing hole is going to be right around there. Fishing holes take a little while to respawn in, the, in this area. Not sure, too sure why, but they just do. And then you can jump off of there and get back on the dock over here. Yes, I've done it before. It's not letting me do it now. Maybe get out your horse. Yeah, if you get out your horse, you'll easily make it. For some reason, my guy wasn't able to jump that for some reason. So the next fishing hole... It's going to be over here. And there are no slaughter fish in these shallow waters. You don't have to worry about it. You can swim all this area. Not worry about getting attacked by any slaughter fish. So the next fishing hole and the next safe spot you want to be at is right about here. So there's the fishing hole. There's a zombie right there. But if you stand this far away, you can fish this fishing hole. Like this. And you be good. Catch a fish. Now you're going to catch longfish, longfin, and dewfish. D-H-U fish. Or something like that. And then you're going to have to equip them to your slot wheel. As you can see. My slot wheel has longfin on it right now. And I got a minnow. Which is also good. Because that is bait. So I'll show you the next fishing hole. There's a bunch of resources too. Rune stones, for the purpose of this video I'm not gonna um, collect those, but you know if you're the type that likes to collect all the wood and all the rune stones, you know there's a lot on this on this coast. So this is the next fishing hole and this is the next safe spot. Nothing will aggro you here and you will be able to catch all these fish. So the next one you want to go to is over here. I'm trying to make this video 15 minutes. That way I'm not wasting your time. It's something that you can watch. So here's the next fishing hole. And if you stand right here, you won't aggro that zombie. And there's a zombie that spawns over there. But you can fish this fishing hole from here. The next fishing hole... I aggroed that zombie. So I'll just kill him real quick. He's right here. And if you stand right here, you won't aggro any zombies. Next fishing hole is right here as you can see you stand in this area you can stand over here fish this fishing hole now there's all sorts of resources you can collect on the way from the start of this video to, to here but for the purpose of this video I'm not going to this is a quick easy money making guide and now here you don't have to worry about aggroing any zombies it's usually a fishing hole, yep, right there, where this person's fishing right now. It's not a real person, it's just an NPC, but still. Sometimes there's two here. I can't really tell. There's a glare on my screen. No, there's just one here. So there's one that spawns right there. Next one you want to go to is... No, I thought there was one that spawns there. Alright, so you're going to pull out your horse, and you're going to ride. It's a very short ride, but you're going to ride. Oh, this glare is pretty bad. 
So the next area you want to fish is these docks. You're going to come over here to these docks. All NPCs, you don't have to worry about getting killed by any NPCs over here. And right here. These are, this is where the two fishing holes is. This one right there, and then one right there. Easy. So once you collect your fish, there's another fishing hole. You're gonna collect your fish, you're gonna fish. You'll probably use all 200 by the time you get over here. Possibly, maybe not. Um, over here, I'll just show you for you know good reference here. There are rune stones, sometimes there's an iron ore that spawns here, and a water uh, hydrant, hyacinth or something like that. And that's pretty much it. By the time you get over here, you'll probably be out of bait, or you'll have a lot of fish. And what you're going to want to do with that now is go, either you can travel, fast travel there, and by killing zombies, you're going to get gold. Probably like 1.52k gold. So you can fast travel to the Way Shrine. Sentinel. And once you get to Sentinel, you're going to want to find a cooking fire. Or a guild trader. Oh, sorry. Let me back up. So once you have all your fish, you're going to slot them into your consumable slot. And then you're going to just press up on the D-pad to scale them. And I'm pretty sure the drop weight for perfect row has increased to about 10%. It's still not that high, it's still a very rare item to, to get, but nonetheless, I caught, I got two of them. Look, there's one right there. I got two of them within 22 fish. Pretty easy to get, they sell for about 10k each, and at the start, you don't really care about collecting them. Um, you want to sell them, you know, for whatever you can get them for. Um, if your end goal is to make Psychic Ambrosia, that is, you know, that is completely your choice if you want to sell them or keep them. But for the purpose of this video, you're going to sell them. And why? Because you're going to go to town. Like this. You're just going to fast travel. Hello, pupper. You're going to fast travel to town. Once you get into town, you're going to take a right, I believe, from the way shrine. You're going to go right. Oh, sorry. You're going to go east, rather. And there will be some guild traders. Hello there. And you're gonna go to consumables, drinks, and you're gonna look for your psychic ambrosia. Some guild traders are cheaper than others, some are more expensive, but I got a ambrosia for uh, 5k. 5k, that was easy. And then there's a cooking fire right here, and a merchant you can repair your items at. So you're gonna go on the cooking fire, you're gonna drink your ambrosia, and it's gonna give you 50% XP bonus for 30 minutes, and this is where you see down at the bottom, level 14, I was level 1 today. So I did this today. And what you're gonna do is, you're just gonna make fishy sticks. You're gonna buy the recipe off a of chef, catch all your fish, you know, you should have a lot of fish by now. And you're gonna pop your double, uh, your 50% experience boost and you're just gonna create this fish. And I can tell you about 600 fish will get you from 1 to 14. And I did that within 25 minutes. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Like I said, I'm not gonna waste your guys' time. I'm just gonna show you the, show you the good stuff. Thank you for watching. My name is Jay Blazon, aka Bursay. Thank you for watching. And like and subscribe. I am new to YouTube and would love any criticism or any help I would be very appreciative of. So thanks. Thanks for watching.